And today, what I'm going to do is uh, take apart this peerless transmission. Uh, I got to get it all cleaned up and stuff and uh, ready to go and make sure all the gears are good to go uh, for when I put it back on the lawn general. I already took out all the bolts. We're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then what I did was is I took a wire brush and just uh, cleaned it all up. Because you don't want to get no dust or dirt or anything back inside here when you go to put it back together. Get these C-rings on here. You got to take these off. Well, there's actually one right here and there's one here. And then there's a washer. Alright, so I'm just going to take and use these right here, which you use for the C, uh, what do you call them, C rings. That's what I think they're called. Pretty sure. Anyway, just pop these off. And now I'm getting to this, whatever you want to call this. I guess it's here for a reason. They probably have a, a tool to remove this, but, uh, yeah, I don't got that. I'm dropping everything. We'll get the washer off of here and uh, see what we're working with. Now I just wanted to uh, point out that um, on this specific engine, yeah engine, <laughs> On this specific transaxle, you got to turn the damn thing over and there would be two bolts at the back. And you have to make sure you get to those before you can crack this open. Alright, now it's time to pop this damn thing open. And what I'm going to use is uh, something for a multi-tool. Instead of using a screwdriver, you know, so I don't risk actually cracking the cast aluminum, uh, you can use something like this. If you get, uh, you see the edge on there. So all you want to do is take this and just go all the way around the whole seam of the casing all the way around the back side here and then once you get to the other side here where you started pretty much um, then you can get a flat head and very easily pry this open all the way around real easily All right, well, I think I've got it all welded up and uh, the gears sitting here and they work real well. They work like they should. So what I'm going to do is get this cleaned up. Then tomorrow I'm going to go down and get some oil and some gasket maker and put this thing back together. And then we got that out of the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.